There's a word in Korean, inyon. It means providence or fate. To me, what I was interested in past lives was a love story that is about uh, those connections in our lives that come and go and it apparently does not leave a mark, but it leaves a mark in the soul. What a good story this is. Childhood sweethearts who reconnect 20 years later and realize they were meant for each other. It's an ineffable uh, relationship. The Hesang and Nora have an ineffable relationship. They're not really exes, they're not really yeah. partners, but there is an ineffable thing going on, and the word that can sort of describe that is inyon. They're inyon, you know. He was just this kid in my head for such a long time. I think I just missed him. Did he miss you? Hesang! It's a movie with three goodbyes, two bad goodbyes, and one good one. And the, two, the first two goodbyes in the film are uh, what I call them bad goodbyes because they don't stick, first of all, but they also, they're, the characters are too young to really say goodbye to each other. Nora and Hezong are able to, aren't able to say goodbye to each other properly because they're too young for it. And then the final goodbye, they're finally uh, old enough and mature enough and the door is closed enough that they're able to really say goodbye to each other.